Oh, pretty easily, and we got to finish in red. You know, it's just, uh, you know, we missed Devontae, obviously. You know, he's a big factor for us down there. But, you know, we still got to answer. You know, we've, uh, we'll get, you know, we're, we got great guys. We'll fix all that. I'm not worried about that. A lot of discussion, and you heard some grumbling in the crowd of the running plays in the red zone, the first and second down. What were your thoughts as you were calling the plays? Well, we have, you know, we're, we've got to keep balancing our offense. We've got to protect, you know, we've got to protect Teddy. And, you know, there's a lot of things, that, uh, you know, going on there other than that. You know, so I, I don't ever get caught up in that kind of stuff. Did you know, I've got a job to do, and I know what my job is, and we do it. Did the offense become too accustomed to just throwing the ball to Devontae and making him play? Uh, you know, he's he's a big factor for us down there. I mean, it's huge. You know, if you think about what he does and, you know, what he brings to the table, I mean, he, he's a guy that can elevate and he can go play in the edges of the end zone and make big plays. So, you know, he's we miss him, yeah, but, you know, that's you know that's neither here nor there. We've still got to do our job down there. When you told him he was going to play, what was his reaction to that? When he told he wasn't going yeah. to, well, he pretty much knew. You know, uh, you know, he wasn't full go. I mean, he's he's gotten a lot better. Uh, you know, we just don't want to jeopardize him for the long haul. We, we can't. Uh, we've got a whole season to play. Um, you know, ahead of us, and there's a lot of ball left. So we 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 don't want to put him. You know, lay him out there when he's not full full go. Things that you probably think about as the game goes along, but mm -hmm. the balance between wanting to be. Um, balanced run and pass mm -hmm. versus what seemed to be working mm -hmm. more effectively that the passing game versus the run. Well, you know, we in order to you've got to take a lot, you got to take pressure off of your quarterback by being able to run the ball. You know, it's not you can't go into a game and just sling it all over the lot. You know, because then you become very predictable and you ask for defenses that you know you don't want to put that kid in. Part of his success, part of our success, and moving the ball down the field is our balance. And uh, you know we'll always be that way. Is there any times in the game where you feel like maybe a, a shot in the arm, up tempo, or go no huddle just to see if you can get you something know, going? Not, not really. I mean, we move the ball pretty efficiently. You know, I think we had one time we were three and out, and that was about it. Uh, so you know that that was that was never consideration because you know we do it as a team, and you know we're all involved in it together. The defense is playing really well, and uh, we didn't feel like that was something that we needed to do. You know, Charlie Cap was all that, so. You've seen Teddy mm -hmm. all the time, games, practices. How would you grade his performance tonight? He missed a couple of a yeah, few throws. Yeah, he, he missed a couple of throws. Um, I think he got really anxious on the one that was you know, pretty open there in the uh, red zone. Um, you know, that's, that's one that you got to just sell yourself and make the throw. But he overall, I thought he played a great game. I mean, he extended plays, made plays with his feet. Uh, did a really nice job. I mean, we win because of him. If if Kai or Devontae can't play next Friday, is James Quick ready to step in? Yeah, and play? James has had a great week of practice this past week, and you know he got a lot of time tonight. And he's a guy that we have a lot of trust and faith in. I mean, he's earned it too. You know, we we don't give things away around here. They have to earn their time. And James uh, James has done that. We're really proud of. I'm really personally proud of what you know what he's become here in the last few weeks. He's had two really good weeks of practice and. You know, we just keep, uh, you know, developing him. And he's had a room that's really competitive, you know, and now when a guy goes down, you know, those guys got to step up, and he's done that. So it's a, you know, it's a, you know, I think a real shot in our arm for him and his growth and his development. What do you think Michael Dyer is right now? Uh, you know, Mike is, uh, you know, Mike has uh, gotten a lot better. You know, he has, uh, you know, I think he's more sound. Uh, in our protections than he's ever been. You know, he's getting the whole picture now. Um, you know, and it's about you know, it, it's about the time that he should. It's but you know, the process of you know learning everything and getting it you know mastered. Um, it takes a little time. You know, because every week you see different you know different defenses. So there's adjustments that go along with that learning curve. And I felt like for the last three weeks he's really, you know, he's getting it. He's really getting it. And uh, you know, he's uh, he's been pretty assignment sound for us. Are you amazed at where Sonoris is? Yeah, Sonoris is, that whole room is, is very, very competitive. So what happens is, uh, you know, everybody ante's up. I mean, you got a lot of competition in that room. And, uh, you know, when that happens, uh, you know, you find out, you know, who, you know, like Sonoris doesn't want to come off the field now. He's, uh, he's one of those guys who has got a lot of pride in, in his work. And, you know, he's, uh, I thought he had a really nice game today. Charlie, really nice job. Charlie talked about earlier in the week about maybe a showcase opportunity on a Thursday night national.